we've been seeing a lot of big mining companies as we've been tracking uh, in their search for, uh, you know, new deals, uh, etc. And, you know, there's been a lot of activity, not just in Australia, but, I mean, we've been watching it in China. How have you been watching some of this? Yeah, closely. I think that the production results that were out today and, and yesterday for BHP and Rio just really do show that both companies are, are going OK. I think BHP is certainly better, but the volume growth is still fairly muted. They are very big businesses and hard to grow volumes aggressively. So really, through major M&A deals, is really the only way that both of those companies are going to grow. And, and obviously, that Anglo-American potential transaction uh, in the last month was, was a good indication of where BHP's mindset is at. I do want to understand, Hayden, uh, where is all this production going from a demand standpoint, given that the data from China looks quite dismal uh, as far as domestic demand is concerned? We've seen that in the import figures. We've seen that in the retail sales numbers. We've seen that even in terms of uh, fixed asset investment not picking up a whole lot. It's been stable, but uh, not looking very promising. Well, I think that's the important point. And iron oil volumes, for example, we actually had a good, a good finish to the year, but the production was only up marginally. You know, it'll only be flat to slightly up in, in 2025. And Rio painted a pretty similar picture yesterday, where you know, in reality, the second half production will probably match the first half. So they're, they're not growing either. Neither is Barley, really. So the big iron ore producers aren't growing volume. So as long as steel demand is, is you know, globally flat, that the iron ore market will stay in this sort of range, we think. I mean, the, the upper end of the cost curve does support that price range of 100 to 120. We're getting sort of lower grade material out of, out of places like India at high cost. So as long as we get that stable sort of demand outlook globally on steel, then, then the iron ore price outlook is, is, is similar in our view.